Let's get on with it. So here we are in uh, somewhere we real strange. We don't know where the hell we are. So the last thing our crew remembers, there's going you at the top there. Uh, remember, is being uh, engulfed in a huge light in the last fight, and then traversing some passage, some sort of aura road, maybe. And Cham makes that noise, and she's like, "Oh yeah, hell yeah, this is Bison well." Um, but a little different to what she's used to. And then a mysterious lady shows up and says, "This is uh, Wala Karain." Warakarain. Uh, the land of the Ferrario that exists between the overworld and the rest of Bison World. And we're like, what the, who there? And here she is, and she's uh, a Ferrario herself, uh, called uh, Erebos. And she's got the wings to prove it and everything. Yeah, he just says there that she's got the wings, but she's a whole lot bigger than Cham. Like, she's like normal person size instead of tiny. And that's because she's an E Ferrario. Um, one of the elder sisters, and uh, yeah, yeah, Champs, are you an E Ferrario, one of our elder, one of the elder sisters? And she's like, nope, I'm just a me Ferrario like you. And Joey's like, I have no idea what's going on. What are you talking about? A e Ferrario, me Ferrario. E <laughs> huh? Hello? And then Erebus uh, is like, ah, okay, so you're overworlders. Anyway, you probably came from the Aura Road, and like, oh, the Aura Road, that passage of light. Anno Hikari no. And then um, Sun Chuan uh, is like, so where's uh, Su Sun Chang Jiang and Lu Xun? Because we can't see them anywhere. And Zhou Yun, there at the top, uh, figures must have got separated from us while we were in the Aura Road. And then a real old Ferrario shows up. Just a real old little fairy lady. And she says that our comrades are being uh, held captive in the castle of Hippocurene at the land of Hericon. And Cham is like, what the? I know, who y you're... And it's like, what is it, Cham? You know this, uh, bah, you know this, uh, Arno Bachan? You know this old ass lady? And it's like, yeah, I know this lady. She you know, looks way different. Um, but this is uh, Jacoba Aon, leader of the Ferrario. Jacoba Aon. And, um, and Cham's real confused because, one, Jacob is meant to be long dead, and also, he looks real different. And the answer is simple. I am the Jacoba of this world, but not the one you know. And then she's going to click on the uptake. It's like, oh, he's a oh, parallel universe thing again, right? And Jacoba says, uh, oh, the curious things you overworlders say. But as for uh, Sun Chang Zhang and Lu Xun being captive, uh, Erebos says that... Um, being able to see something like that's easy for the leader of the Ferrario. And that's not all that Jacoba has seen. Uh, she says that the world is now beset by a crisis, with us uh, caught in the middle. We're like, okay, what the hell do you mean then? And she says the Aura Road opened twice, which is something not even the Ferrario could do by themselves. Uh, the first time was due to the wings of Lian uh, manifesting themselves, the other by the power of a holy warrior. Popular me. And uh, Zhuge Liang. Um, uh, is like, ah, the Holy War is the one who opened the ba passageway that brought us here? And Jacob says, yes, and his name is Aesop. And he's an overworlder, like us. And his name is Aesop, like uh, the military acronym. That's just, that's just his name. And that uh, Hippokurene, uh, Aesop is here, he's waking up, and Lux. Lux. Yeah, so Lux. So uh, Lux is here uh, with him and explains that this is her father's castle in the land of Hericon. And uh, they are in uh, Bison Well, and her father is uh, Sakamizu. And there he is with his shit on his face. And he introduces himself and he's like, ah, thank you, uh, Asa. Uh, had uh, we not found you, I would have mistakenly presumed all our overworld has a change to look like Shang Shang and Lu Shu. Like basically, he's like, I would have thought everybody looked like these weird little gremlins. 
And he's got them both tied up, and Shun Shang Jiang at the top there demands they be freed now, or he's in for a pummeling. And then Lu Xun is like, it's that actually that got us tied up in the first place. Stop telling people you're pummeling. And then ASAP is like, what the heck? Living, breathing robots? And Sakuza is like, hmm, so you do not know them. Uh, and they're not aura machines. And then Shang is like, aura machines are those bug-like weapons, right? Well, we're bona fide humans and nothing like those things, okay? And I mean, obviously. And then uh, here's Queen Kodur. So here's uh, Queen Kodur. And uh, she doesn't appreciate her attitude when addressing the king and blames all of this on uh, Lucas running off uh, with the damn magical shoes. And Sakami's uh, tells him not to focus on that, but on the significance of the Aura Road being open twice in a single day. And so he turns to ASAP and he says, uh, You can cause the wings to manifest at will, can't you? And uh, ASAP is like, I, I have no idea what you're talking about. And so Sakimisa declares that uh, what ASAP manifested is the power that will save the world. The power of a holy warrior. Sei Senshi no Chikara. And uh, looks here, sees uh, that her father wants to use ASAP for his, his own twisted purposes and speaks against it with great vehemence. And Kodo is like, Duh, are you siding against the king? And looks just says, tell her to shut up. And she calls uh, Kodo a moron with no grasp of politics. A scene where they're building stupidly huge warship and calling for massive troop deployments, all just to put down a Malgan. And then Sakamizu just says, Looks, slaps, still brushing, shit, you're right, I'm not still brushing. If only I was. But that's fine, we're free, thanks for. I'm glad someone caught my test, definitely a test, and not me forgetting. It's because the thing covers up exactly that bit of the window. I'm a fool. But, at least it's not having teeth written on it like that one stage of the other game. <laughs> Nothing important happened. It's just... Wait, wait, wait. Where was it? Was it pointing... Yeah, look, it's, that's where we're at. We're at the city of Teethbrush, alright? We're at the city of Teethbrush. It's fine. It's fine. <sighs> no, but thank you. Point. Yeah, um... Yeah, so... Slaps Luke's, and then... Uh, Shun Sang Zheng like, What the heck? You've got no reason to do that! And then Sakamizu, uh one's looks uh, that Kodor is both his wife and her mother and she best respect her by rights that's grounds for execution and then ASAP and Sun Chang uh, yeah Sun Chang Chang uh, appalled that he'd speak to his own daughter like that and then Sakamiza calls in the, the royal guard and orders all of them locked up including Princess Luke's and so back to us and our crew. Uh, Jacob has told uh, us of the chaos the Sakamizu is bringing to Bison World and he's working together with uh, Overworld Scientist Shot Weapon to build the Aura Machines, one after the other, with the plan of invading the Overworld. And Cham can't believe that Shot is not only alive, but building mechs in this other world. Is he never satisfied? Uh, Sumeragi's uh, con concerned about that and the invasion, but we do need to rescue our friends. And we should obviously get ASAP too. And uh, Yamashita Fizz won't be getting back to the surface without his powers. And Kaido is like, oh, that's real fucking annoying. Why don't we just beat the king, smash his castle, and then look around for our friends? And Tsubasa doesn't like uh, the sound of that at all, because that'd make us the invading force in this story. But Zhuge Liang figures that maybe he's got a point. He says, may as well have Kaido, as he says, uh, cut it loose. The man needn't worry about it in any overly complex plans, he suggests. And Kaido, like Zhuge Liang, gets him. There's a catch. He'll have to do it on foot. Not allowed in the robot. So over by the L-Shank, here's Damien and Mike, and they're looking up Tobikage. And uh, he's wondering if we can figure out uh, what makes him appear, because it'll be useful in our upcoming battles, because Damien keeps a tight grip on all our wallets. And that sounds good to Mike, but are there conditions for him showing up? And Damien doesn't know yet, which is why he's looking into it. And this is about the only way he feels he can be useful to us, seeing as he can't pilot the machines like the others because he's not a ninja. But yeah, um, if any of our guys get below like a third health or half health, then Toby Cargill will show up to help. And if they go below a third or like 25 or something, like an even lower amount, that's when they fuse. But he just shows up. But here's a second. I met with the new Holy Warrior. And he's shot weapon with Ace Suzuki, my lord. What I found the most curious about him is the fact that he has absolutely no knowledge of the Showa period. 
When I first gave the bice to the world, the overworld was mired in a great war. And during these past 70 years, Amalgan and I went on to conquer and unify this land of Helicon. However, in the Japan he calls home, it's already been 200 years since the war in the Pacific ended. Which is... World War II, right? It's possible that time flows at a different pace in the overworld. Regardless, this is a matter for another time. What I must do now is verify whether that child is a true holy warrior. And if he is, then it'll be good uh, use to us when the time comes to assault the overworld. And then a crash. Intruder! Seize him! What's the meaning of this? Uh, Your Majesty, a suspicious man has invaded our castle and is headed this. Who? Ah, uh, dipshit is just immediately smashed into the castle and is beating everyone up. <laughs> King Sakamizu, here. Yeah? I'm here for your head. You are mighty indeed. A man guided solely by his thirst for battle. I found an overworlder with all the qualities of a Garo Ran. Garo Ran? Is that some kind of Gundam pilot? And that's because there's Garrett Ran, right? The guy. But. Nah, the name's Kaido. Ken Kaido. Don't you forget it. Sword on sword. King Sakamizu. Fret not. Remember that your king is a holy warrior. Uh huh. He didn't even need to move your body to stop my sword. Not bad. <laughs> my skill in the Jiki Shinkage, Ryu Kenjutsu, was owned to its apex during the war to unify this nation. And I will not hesitate to make use of all my strength until he sets himself before me as a Garo Ran esque overworlder. <laughs> So you're made of stronger stuff than your average guy with a sword, huh? Sounds like fun. Then come, Kaido. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just This is mission twelve. The King of Hojo. Hojo no. He's there to us. It's time, Joe. Right, we'll get in there and rescue Shang Jiang and the others while Kaido's got their attention. You find where they are, Erebus? Leave it to me, even I can sniff out Aura. And then here's Melena. You got a message from Joe, he's starting the rescue. Copy that, then we'll go ahead and keep him backed against the wall. Launch all squadrons. So, who do we want? I think we just get to deploy everybody anyway, yeah. Yeah, that's fine. King Sakamizu, surface forces have been spotted. What? So you have no more a diversion, Kaido? <laughs> so what if I was? What are you going to do now, Chief? <sighs> Didn't even be said. You and any who stand against me will share the same fate. Watch the aura battlers. Watch a bunch of bugmen. And he's, uh... Kasumi again. Damned overworlders. Now we just repay you for our previous defeat. There's bug machines again. What is your command, Your Highness? We shall follow our plan and head towards the point where we are at with Joe, rendezvous with Joe's group. It's... Right there. Understood, Dilbora? Yes, Your Highness. Gamaran, give me full power of the engine. Aye, aye, aye. Our time limit's four minutes. All troops, secure a path for the Elshank. I'm assuming tactical command. So... You just gotta get this dude into that by the end of turn four. Always game over. And these guys, these bug men are garbage, so... Okay, okay, so if any of these boys drop below 50%, then uh, Toby Kage shows up, and then I think it's 30 or 25% then they fuse. But that's fine. I upgraded her to full accuracy and she still can't hit for shit. To be fair, they're very small and dodgy, but we'll start coming. Check out the ogre attack. Kisama! <laughs> Let's find the Miku for our bone build to investigate. HD exercise! Summer. 
<laughs> this one. Yeah. This is two. And this is three. And then she goes in with the leaks. Sore. He didn't even kill either of them. Well, that's that guy for you, ain't it? He's a big fucking trash bag. Get on the ground. Get on the ground, jokers. Oh, never mind. He makes the mess in the sky, so he's better to be in the sky. Fucking Who cares? Who gives a shit about anything anymore? We'll just fly everywhere. Show you the power of a factor, but I thumb punch me the next fucking week. Oh, you the king. He's like with the royal guard. Let's go, Renny. Renny and Sun Chuan. Get beat up so Tobikage shows up because I like his little run in dance he does when he comes in. We don't care about money or bops, so. Why are you being weird, man? Why are you being weird? The little square keeps changing colour and I don't like it. Comes Liu Bei, totally real actual human Liu Bei. Weird. Weird. Don't understand it. It's just cycling going from. Super green healthy down through the colours down to red it sucks and then back up. So I don't understand it. I don't understand it myself. Let's go to see. No the crack. Demon begin. Destruction. I think they made that man think his arms are blowing up. Here comes the big man, Zhang Fei. Oh, 
by Big Man. I think it was Man. He's the same size as Wrigley. そこだ。And these boys can just shoot from over here because they're fucking ripped. Can't eat for shit, apparently, but that's fine. Snipe, I believe. But it might be like trick attack or something weird. Expected that. They're just gonna all attack that guy who can't shoot for shit. Oh no, alright, 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 sure, 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 sure,
ここまで抵抗するかはどこ行ったんや姉さんここからじゃ敵を捕捉できないよ
So here we are in the castle. So it's ASAP. This isn't. Damn it, that. It's not working. I'm wearing the shoes. I'm praying as much as I can, and the wings just aren't coming out. Put yourself together and try harder. Aren't you one of those holy warriors? You need to call out those wings, or neither we nor our friends will be leaving this place. Yeah, I know, but I'm just a regular kid. The most significant thing I've done with my life lately was study to retry my college application. Then we'll shoot. Princess Lux, could you perhaps uh, explain to us how the wings of Rian's shoes work? It takes a holy warrior to make full use of the shoes, and with them, one is able to attain powers beyond the reach of human knowledge. Powers. You speak of those wings that open the Aura Road? There's a theory that the wings of uh, Rian uh, manifest themselves when a world gripped by chaos needs to be set back on the right path. But the truth is, no one knows what they truly are. Furthermore, the wings do not just empower anyone, only those themselves that have been chosen. Now, so you have a good one. Hmm. Sounds quite like our uh, world's own Yuxi. Yuxi. Yeah. My father once wielded the power of these shoes and with them built the nation of Hojo onto this land. He was a holy warrior in every sense of the word. But, is that no more? Now my father is a man bound by his own ambitions. If he isn't stopped, I'll have uh, no one. I'll be all alone. Princess. A man who's focused on nothing but his ambitions wouldn't have slapped his child, though. Someone like that wouldn't even care enough about her to chide her behaviour. Trust me, I know. I don't get along with my dad, either. Hey, sir. Everything will be alright. You're not alone. You shouldn't worry so much. Maybe you're right. Thank you, ASAP. Uh, is it me or did the mood around here change? Don't ask me! These jokers. Seriously, can you two save that for your alone time? Uh, uh, Ferrario, where did you... I'm here to save you guys! Now stand back a bit, because it's about to get dangerous. The door explodes. Hey, everyone alright? Joel! Uh, who? You're ASAP, yeah? You need to come with and help us get back to the surface. Back to the surface? And then... Honore! Let's beat up one of these jokers. シーサの問題は俺たちの手で借り取る。近接戦闘に入る。本田素人が紛れ込んでいるらしいな。俺を忘れてどこへ行こうってんだ。Yeah. Eh, just the straight slaps, just and then the little martial arts, just. Whew. That's a charge on that boy, very nice. That's fine, he isn't repairing. All out of soul. Shimuragi to fire everything. Damn, they really do just shoot book and everything, alright? <laughs> <laughs> I can't counterattack, they're too far away, and this guy's like, what is that one? The great me is coming at ya! Charge! 
Chai Choraikya Super Thunder Bullshit. Gets a big flaming lightning dragon to fight the shit out of you. Just come on, level two. Look how big the aura is now, that's red. That's currently my least favorite attack because he's like, oh, not yet. Nah, it's the end. Like, just one, like, one swipe of the sword later. Nice level up. Two levels up. Prevail level two on the Ashta. He's approaching a level that is useful. And then, oh, no, hey. Curses. Again, you disgrace me so. Fucking idiot. Absolutely unforgivable. Seriedan. Holy Dragon Slice. That's there. Soul of the Three Seasons. Plus 10% damage dealt and 10% da less damage taken. Very real. It's more than that. the back. Disgusting, treacherous ninja. Fuck! <laughs> Impossible! Sorry, Masawa. And then, uh, I can't go on! Retreating! Kill everything, the Oshan Quarter Valley goes over. So, Obora, we've reached the specified point. Good. Now recover Joe's group. 
about that. It's just sort of a... Uh, uh, did something happen? Uh, you're heading to the castle's underground? Yes, there's a workshop that down there, where we'll find the newest model of Aura Battler. ASAP and I will steal and escape with it. But, uh, but... You have nothing to worry about. If ASAP is a genuine holy warrior, then we'll be fine. Yukes. Fine, in that case, we'll go on ahead and plough the road. Make sure you get out in one piece. Uh, Joe, wait! The rebels are attacking too, looks like. What? Nandato? Those units. It's Amalgam and his rebels. The group Jacoba told us about. And his, uh... Kiki. Hey, look there! That overworld is ships right by Hipkarena Castle. And it's heavy. Uh, what's going on here? I do not know, but our offensive welcomes any confusion in the castle. Kiki, heavy. Our targets are only the Hojo troops. Don't engage the overworld of forces. Aye, aye. Take care of the old man, heavy. Of course. We'll never let him down. I it's the rebels. We're being informed that the captured overworlders have escaped. And this fucking guy is... Ah, he is face. Damn it. What are our guardsmen doing? I must recommend your troops, Kaido. I thought they were using you as a diversion while they assaulted my castle. Little did I expect it was all a feint for your true objective. Freeing my prisoners. I see the armies of the overworld possess rather skilled strategists. <laughs> and we ain't even done blowing your mind. And here's the skull powder. Jump in, Kaido. Kept me waiting, Magami. What? Come on. Kaiser! Palda on! Then they plug their little man into his head. What? You had such a weapon hidden away? Yeah, what's it gonna be now then, Chief? I always appreciate a challenge. I'm setting off with the Okao. Okao. The cool King King. That's King Sakamizu's own aura battler? And they got that warship too. Oh, this might be tough. My liege, all preparations are complete for the Fukaku's launch. Overworlders, rebels, it's high time someone taught you where you all stand, and I shall carry out that task myself. And then his Atsune Mecha head again. Yeah, he looks so scary. Are we really going to be fine? So Elbora, Joe and Shang Shang are deployed. Shang Shang, you're safe. Of course I am. I'm also ready to give His Majesty there a pommeling. That's our answer to everything. Joe, where's that man ASAP? You didn't bring him with you? I went off to the castle's underground workshop, said they were going to get out by themselves. Hey, Joe, listen here, I figured out the conditions for where Toby Cargo will show up. What? There are conditions? Yes, he'll show up whenever damage on the l shank or any of the three machines passes 50%. Damage passes 70% and he'll combine with whichever one is hurting the most. Never thought stuff like that would be what calls him over. So he shows up at 50%, and combines at 70%. Yes, you better get him to combine quick in case he does turn up. Yeah, can't let him show us up, right? Thanks, Damien. You're a big help. And all that's left now is to kick the king's royal ass. Let's get this party started. So, yeah. So, they even tell you, hey, it fucking sucks if he comes in and you don't get him combined. Because he one-shots everybody and has two turns. He's very strong. So, where's the Okao? There's the Okao. Uh, it's good. He's uh, Kuso in Form of Panic. He's Japanese Wolverine. He's got a good barrier. He's rude as shit. He's strong as hell. Yeah, he's small size, so everyone beats him up. He does ignore size difference on his big attack, but he's short range. But we're all pretty short range anyway, and he's got and he's like he's really good at close range and his barrier reduces all range damage by two hundred plus his aura power level, which is five hundred. So but level five, so five hundred. So he just reduces all range damage by 2500. So, you know, we'll just have to fly in and beat the shit out of him. It's a wanky guitar solo. Love it. Uh, the way Grunt Mook Scrub Wow 
ら。ちょら。うわ、動けよ。So I am going to change the gun boy still with the breast trigger. It's because they're going to attack us and be rude as shit. She can attack from fucking here? Holy shit, lady. Totally regular human girl since Shenzhen. She's just a, she's a very tomboy who's impossible to get along with. So she says herself. I do like that she ran through most of the street and just thought, I don't want to marry that dude. Strong as hell. Alright, this boat's about to get jacked up though. Alright, this is gonna suck. Behold, the might of an aura battle are piloted by a holy warrior. Kodaga Zuzuchi. Witness the power of Yokao. Hey, he's a big butterfly. Good grief. Any requests? And his bare battleship. I still hate this guy's mustache. Looks like get a dragon. Look at him! Just awful. Koto, no Koto. Te me na kani yarare te tamak ka yo. Te me. Shitsukoi da yo. What's the big battleship from? Uh, which one? The the one that looks like a bird or the one that looks like a big pop bathtub? Yeah, I was gonna say these boys are gonna take no damage from the regular boys if the big boy did that much to him. The bird that's from uh, Tobikage. Ninja warrior Tobikare. Slim wall, very nice. Oh, yeah, and then they just counter everybody because they're good because I gave them a skill up.
bucket. Ah, oh, it's the map attack. Well, I don't want to map attack my own friends though, so I'm not going to do that. So where's this boy? How can someone who calls himself a holy warrior want to invade the surface? Is that title just a fancy way of saying murderer? If you seek to deny my justice, then you must first showcase your own. Alright dude, that sounds like a rude way of going. Yeah, he's actually... He's a little butterfly man though. Look at him. こいつ。女子供。戦場から排除する。覚悟。おかお。助かった。さっさとやらせてもらうっすよ。バレた。おい。くれ。このような形で。Oh yeah, yeah, he's in like He's in like a monster hunter armor. Like he's very like he's got little beetle carapace things for his side armor. Looks like a rad little dude. Yeah, so you damage him, and then he gives us the. I commend you for being capable of connecting a blow against me. However, and he just heals up. And then. What strength is this? This is the aura power of a holy warrior. And then, in the basement, it, it moves? He, he. So you control it like this. Wow, the aura system's quite something. The nameless Nanashi in the language of Japan. Yeah, Nanashi in the language of Japan. Aura battler. No one in the castle could get it to take flight, and he made it move so effortlessly. ASAP, you really are. Uh, again with that? Is calling me a holy warrior national pastime around here? But ASAP, you... You're the holy warrior here, Lux. Lux. I'm probably just going to go back to calling her Lux again, just because it's easier for me to just default to that. The, the wings of Rand didn't appear back then because of me. It was because of you, the daughter of a holy warrior. But that's... Nuh-uh. Yeah, here's where it was. Nuh-uh. ASAP is absolutely a holy warrior. Erebus, why are you here? Well, Lady Jacoba told me to help the Holy Warrior. So, where he goes, I go. I'll be his loving companion forever and ever and ever and ever and ever and ever. Uh, what do you... ASAP. ASAP, this for Arrow's trouble. Don't let your guard down around her for even a second. Huh? What's the matter? You finished already, Overworlders? The spirit's overwhelming. Hmm? The new aura battler? Father! Lux and young, Suzu uh, young Suzuki, you escaped for yeah you escaped for captivity only to set yourselves against me. How deep does your contempt for your king run? The princess is just worried about you so much so she's here with here with me aboard the so-called Nana. You've named it Nanajin after the seven gods of fortune, and then Brunum's thing here. So a real forced play on words. Uh, so Nanashini is nameless plus knee particle, like so like the knee particle or no thing, not like a molecule and then Nanajin being seven gods making his reference to the seven gods of fortune and alright Nanajin oh that boy's able to control my newest aura battler so easily shut the fuck up shot weapon his aura power reminds me a lot of Shozama he really is one managed to get out without a hitch eh is that are you that guy from yeah we all need your power if we're gonna get back to the surface help us out will ya okay looks Put on the wings of Rand shoes, please. Me? Why? Recreating the situation we had before. You wear the shoes, I'll pray. Before we'll do anything about that, we need to deal with this hard-headed king. And so he's in the Nanajin, which is done by but weirder. So, uh, he's cool. He's got aura um, power level 2 and holy warrior, so he's fucking ripped. Um... Skill-wise, he's got the, the old double image. He's got sword, the regens. 
Puro sud. Ora, ora, Brian shoot. Ora, Brian sword. Priam, Priam, or whatever. And then Nipa, ora, Priam sword. Alright, sure. Let's see, no size, alright. And uh, his spells are. Uh, focus and set all terrain rankings to S for a turn. For weapons and the unit, which is rude as shit in terms of, you know, making you really accurate and dodgy and tough and do loads of damage. And then the um, cast accelerate on anyone you want and scan on Erdobos in the back. And he's Jun Fukuyama again. He's everyone's favourite, Lelouch. And I don't know if he's Lelouch, but. And then this lady's Chie. Uh, she's told me in Dead or Alive. And basically, he's the same as all the other real robot protagonists, but he hits real hard because he stacks two things and he dodges a lot because he's rude. Uh, he dies if he gets hit because he's small, but he's rude as shit. His squad bonus is crit, uh, dodge, and movement. Uh, his range sucks, but everybody's range sucks this game. But he murders everything and he'll just get better and better and. Uh, Erebos eventually learns Enable, so she's just a really good sub-pilot. And we have to shoot down Sakamizu with a ASAP for a secret, which is fine, we can do that. Too bad he can't hit the ship! Okay, he's got three casts of that going on. Oh, never mind. It's not a purr, it's f I'm a fool, it's all a flame sword. I'm a fool. This is frame shot, frame sword, hyper aura frame sword, yeah. For some reason I thought this was per instead of like bu instead of foo. Because I, I guess I thought there was the little dot there for some reason. I'm a fucking idiot. That boy up. Stand on this cliff. Twenty percent friggin' defense. Oh, 
様が生ツにしてやるぜ行くぜここだどうりややられたパールダイゴン行きます今ですダンスピンゴーこの先は通さねえらほらほらほらほらほらほらほらほらほらほらほらほらほらほらほらほらほらほらほらほらほらほらほらほらほらほらほらほらほら Getting bops all over the fucking show. Photon Cannon. Oh, this is piss. Might as well just go for battleship on battleship. Romina, come on. Oh, you can be can't do it. I'm going to go to the hospital. You can go to the hospital. You can go to the hospital. Stand right there, buddy. Yeah, all right. See, as these boys are both still invincible from the last time. Okay. Okay, then he'll recover. That. Yeah, then he recovers 800 at the start of our turn. This boy just recovers 900 at the start of our turn, I believe, so. They should both be full at the start of next turn, so we're looking pretty good, alright, as far as the line barrels are concerned, as long as he doesn't use his big move. Good, good, good. Instinct. Oh, all right, that man's. Holy Warrior bullshit is just turned on, sets 10% more damage he's gonna murder us with now, which sucks and stinks. This aura battler, Amalgam. Yeah, Amalgam Luddle. I see you found me, Shinjiro Sakamizu. My comrade, we once shared many a battles as we fought to unify our nation. And it's precisely because I respect you so that I make your death quick and painless. Prepare to meet your end, Amalgam. That's rude. 
You gotta be better than that against the butterfly, man. He keeps his sword on his fucking head. Oh, oh it is. Oh no, he doesn't, never mind. Yeah, he's Kiki. Tay? Nani? Nani? Well, It's a Gatling gun, I didn't expect him to summon a cement mixer, but that's fine. He can do that, I suppose. If you are king in this land, then you should only take up the sword to fight in defense of your people. I am Japanese first, King of Hojo second. Ignoring the reality of my motherland would be a disservice to the dead that I could never apologize for. Alright, dude, that's a weird thing to say. Hailed as a heroic king who united his land. So why do you oppress your people? Why do you seek to invade the surface? Japan is my motherland. I seek no more than to return it to how it is meant to be. Says a man who hasn't seen it since World War II. Yeah. And 
she's up here. Why don't you stop and consider your daughter's feelings for a second? You call yourself a father. Indeed, it is because I'm her father that I must discipline her. I must educate her on our cause and what it means to serve it. Alright, dude. Yeah, that buff the hell out of everybody. Trans up first. <laughs> Yells and fastest crystals everywhere. And that gives everybody plus 20 to all their stats, and all the enemies minus 20. But the only enemy we hit is this guy who's immune, but everybody else is fucking ripped. Father, you were a holy warrior in your youth. Why won't you act like one now? I don't want to see my father be enslaved by delusions born of his old age. My wish is to cut down the evil that remains in this land. To crush America. It is not a delusion. King Sakamizu, if you consider your, yourself both Lux's father and king, then please use your power for what's right. So, he really wants to smash America up because he still thinks it's still World War II. with his little farty wings. Yeah, I hate that.押されているぞ。落ち直せ。そう簡単にこの不覚から逃げられるものか。そう、どうにかしたみたい。私の動きにはついてこれまい。
yells something. He's like, Gink, so Uda. And then this dude's like, God, I'll get out of here. I'll need you for another day. And he's like, Alright, boss. But we didn't blow him up. He escaped when he got to a certain low level of damage, which is fine, I suppose. He can do that if he wants. Heavy. Damn snake. This dude's just chopping him up. Luckily he's already at max will, so I'm not that fast. But I wouldn't be fast if he wasn't. energy emanating from him. Is it the aura power Jacoba Aon spoke of? Ah, I see you have the makings of a holy warrior. I wish we could have had a chance to sit down and speak face to face, but alas. Shh. <laughs> Silence. All your powers are doing is twisting both our worlds. Tornado Crusher Punch. Continue where we left off, Chief. Only this time we'll see who's the better pilot. You wild man. Servant to no cause but your wild urges. Were you to submit to me, I'd easily proclaim you a samurai. Samurai. He says it in Katakana as well, he's weird. Joe says that we got to do nicely down the head, Honcho. Buckle up. Arnie's like, hey, aren't you a holy warrior? you got to fight and protect the lives of others, right? He's like, you understand? Nothing. Merely giving to those who cannot earn for themselves who have destruction to any nature. Accept it. And it's like, oh, alright. He doesn't believe in the welfare state. I can't believe Sakamizu is going to be destroyed by our social justice warrior army. With this one attack, I'll slice you down. Ooh. Luckily we're gonna kill him now, but that's a fucking yowza. That's a doozy. Take a little bit more damage. He 
doesn't have aura power level 3, so he can't get ripped. Pios. He can't do the hyper aura sword. Is he in anyone's... Okay, he's in a command aura. He's just shitty at it. Alright. Alright. Hurricane. Yeah, that's gonna be the most damage. Sure. This hope he hits. His little flappy bum. Slice him. Oh, nice he got him. Nice, let's not get murdered in return. Guess what? He just got murdered. Yep. That's uh, it's one of them game overs. That's fine. Because I saved right before. So, uh, that's uh, piss and chips, isn't it? I wouldn't say that that was unlikely to happen on a 35% chance, but come on, game. Shoot this man with your gun. Reiji. Look at that! It's useless. I wanted him to do a little bit of damage, but not that little damage. Like that. That's a bit much on the little damage front. Yeah, like you, you're holy war, aren't they supposed to protect the fight, the light, the fight, protect the love of the orders? You understand nothing. Really giving to those who do not earn is the destruction of any nation. <laughs> Now this boy, who may well miss, if he misses, he dies, but if he doesn't miss, he should get the bop. It's oh, and he fucking sword cut him, even worse. Even more shameful. Ah, but He's like, this is my spirit. Fucking what, mate? You fucking what, mate? No, 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 Can ASAP, with his strongest move, hit this man and not get sword cut this time? Yes, fucking hell. That was rougher than it needed to be. Thanks, game. So he drops a teachings of Jikishin Kage. Which 
is melee plus 10, evasion and skill plus 5. I mean, that's probably going on ASAP, to be honest. Level 18 and aura level 3. Can I use his good move and his aura battle, like his holy war activates? <clears throat> How could I be brought to this point? Please, Father, ask yourself why you couldn't reach the overworld when you had the wings of Redan shoes. Yet, when I used them, I could not only really travel to and back, but I took a fleet along with me. That was only due to young Suzuki's presence. Hey, Sap Suzuki, I see quite clearly that you indeed have the makings of a holy warrior. Would you be the Prince of Hojo? Uh, 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 huh? The Prince? Yes, I'd like you to take charge of our nation's government as the new holy warrior. Inherit my crown in the nation of Hojo. You and Lux together. Father, what are you... you trying to make me lower my guard with all that talk? <laughs> Maybe I am! Sword slash... ASAP! Uh, th this is... The Aura Road is opening again. Whoosh. It's happening again. I'm wearing the shoes. ASAP's crying out and the wings of Rayanna manifesting. Which means ASAP is a magical boy, isn't he? And then, so here we are at Judah Kagali. Is being told that UX and Celestial Being are still missing. They're doing everything they can to find us, especially because Idri took all their machina, and she's like, "Oh, geez, that sucks." She wanted to recruit us again. Uh, Ishigami asked if the Federation's uh, search crafts are still flying around Tatsumiya, and yeah, been at it pretty much non-stop. Uh, Kigali fears they found something happening there in the previous battle with the Festum, and the entire island is currently hidden away behind the mirror camouflage as they try to avoid the detection. Because that's the the island we saw in the prologue. Uh, and Ishigami's like, wow, the the irony of, uh, like, to protect mankind from the menace of the Festum, everyone's got to keep themselves hidden from humanity. Uh, the whims of fate, uh, given the Arcadian project, uh, quite the crummy hand, that's for sure. Uh, but Kigali says Grumbling ain't gonna help though, and they'll deal with the Festum with the forces they have available, uh, with a reminder for Shigami to be careful in regards to a certain matter, and then she signs off. Mr. Ogawa then uh, brings in the Federation government's ardor in regards to their inquiries on the battle in Yokosuka, and Ishigami's like, yeah, yeah, I know what the official story says. Kigali uh, smelled fish around everything that happened there too. And it's pretty clear to him that a rather unsavory group is rising to power within the Federation. That's right, the Martian Development Bureau. But the Federation's currently in a bit of a daze trying to figure out how they're going to deal with the Scruggs and the Frontier Fleet. And the Shigami figures Judah should also work on a plan of their own. <laughs> Probably just involving a bunch of pranks because he's a fucking idiot. Meanwhile, at the island, in the Alvis, uh, his, uh, looks like Cup or something. He's the dad, though. I see, so we shouldn't expect any reinforcements. And he's Kagali. So very sorry, I had established contact with the Unknown X Strikers precisely for moments like this, but... No, no, don't worry about it. The Arcadian Project was always expected to make do without any outside assistance. We should consider ourselves lucky that we even have orb support. But, if you're going to field not just the Mark Elf, but the other Fafners as well, then... Mm. It's for that purpose that we have these children. Beep beep. And here's Hazama. Shoko Hazama. In. Commander Makabe! This is a list of children with the highest energetic code values. This is Tomi. P please wait, Shoko is... her health is... I'm sorry, but her physical condition is irrelevant to her synergistic code values. You know that, don't you? And then, we're deciding our ch children's lives with a bunch of numbers. I understand the reason why, but as a parent, I can't bring myself to accept it. I wish no one but me had to go through this. Shoko. So... Uh, the Evangelion, this continues, right? It's, it's the crazy numbers again. Yeah, here's Shoko Hazama, the daughter. Hmm, this one's from the last class tournament, right? So lucky you can take all these pictures with everyone. Here's Maya. Everyone, huh? So you don't mean with Kazuki? Uh, uh, uh Maya, please! <laughs> Still, we'll now have plenty of chances to take lots of pictures together. Yeah, you're right. All thanks to us being chosen as Fafna pilot cadets. I have to work extra hard. The sooner I'm ready to help Kazuki, the better. And here's Mamoru. He wears a stinky hat most of the time. Wow! This place is awesome! It's like a secret base! And here's Kenji. Well, it's a base and it's secret, so I'm pretty sure it is a secret base. And here's Sakura. So, this is where you work, Dad. Here's Shin. Those are the new Fafna pilot cadets, huh? 
Well, they're around Kazuki's age. A full bunch of kids who haven't even made it through school. All children in Tatsumiya were born to be tuned with the Fafners. It's very difficult to find an adult with the necessary synergetic code values. Yeah, yeah, I know, but still, the idea of deciding people's lot in life from the second they're born is... Folly? Is what you're implying? I guess I am. Shin. Once there was a man who studied the people's inherent abilities by way of their genes. He tried using that knowledge to decide everyone's destiny. But in the end, humanity rejected his plan. Do you know why? Because destiny isn't something that can be decided at birth? Right. People keep on growing their flowers, even when they know they might get wiped out the next day. That's the kind of creature humans are. Alright, Shin, when did you become a philosopher? And then. And here's Koyo. Hey, Soshi, get in here! We're taking a little celebratory picture. Picture? We've got Kazuki to join us too. Uh. Okay, everyone, gather around. Go on now. You'll be fighting alongside all of them, right? Alright. And here we go. Everyone say cheese. Say no. And then. This boy. Everything with a beginning also has an end. Sugar coating isn't what we need right now. Folly it may be, but if we yearn to fly, even knowing our winds will bleed, all we need is a little more time. Is that so much to ask? So, that's just the lyrics of the theme song he's saying. And we get an infoit. Infoit. All attack. And a guard. Mm. 